Hello, I welcome you on Monacus 45 ISA today's presentation. We have a beautiful day and I hope you will enjoy with us. Let's go. Today we have a rare opportunity to speak with a boat builder and Harry is today with us. So Harry, could you tell me more about the Monacus, especially for this model? 45 we... Isa, yes. 45 Isa, yes. Yes. Uh, I would say this boat is a particular. It has uh, uh, much elements of the lobster boat, but uh, actually I call it uh, Mediterranean uh, lobster uh, because we uh, mix the elements of the real uh, lobster with the Mediterranean style, especially uh, taking in consideration the bow of the boat, which is uh, more appropriate uh, to the waves, usual waves in uh, Mediterranean Sea, which are very different than the Atlantic uh, waves. There, that are longer waves, we have here shorter and sharp waves. So this hull has been designed and appropriate to Mediterranean kind of uh, waves, which are shorter and high, but very sharp. That was actually my next question, because I want to ask you why somebody will buy Monacus instead of some other brand. What is the other advantages uh, of this uh, model? I would say the most of our customers are actually the people who owned uh, one, two or three boats uh, in before. And uh, what is the difference uh, between us and uh, today's mostly of the boat builders, producers, yacht producers, uh, we are, uh, as a first thing, we are taking in consideration the seaworthiness and the shape of the hull, which must be, which must be good on the, on the sea, on the waves and so. Uh, unfortunately, the component of the volume, inside volume of the boat and the shape, which is seaworthy, these two components, uh, the volume, and the seaworthiness doesn't go together. So actually what we did, uh, we uh, make, in our opinion, the best compromise, actually we designed the first, the hull, which has to be seaworthy, then in, the, in that uh, interior, in that volumen, we make the best possible uh, interior, in our opinion, yeah. This has to do something with, uh, again, if it's good the shape, the consumption of the fuel, it's less, yes, which I course. think it's important yes, in, yes, in these course. days, yes, yeah, of course, because yes, of yes, everything. Of yeah, it's uh, less, it's uh, optimum because the, the boat is goes through the water, doesn't push the water. I would say, when we take design of this boat, we do it really schooly, like traditionally the naval architects, they learn it in the school. Today, or let's say in the last, 20 years, something like that. Uh, the naval architects, uh, uh, they make upon the order. The boat builders, they say, I want to three cabins, I want to this, I want to this, and uh, everybody take uh, care of uh, interior that uh, must be impressive with that volume. And uh, so the naval architects, uh, they have very, very challenging, uh, very challenging uh, uh, work to do uh, to make uh, the seaworthiness and uh, to make a design of the hull, which has to go through the water and uh, it's uh, not easy and uh, some they succeed more or less but it's actually uh, it's actually not easy not easy to do i would say even impossible because the volume and the seaworthiness and the, and the really geometric of the hull like it has to be these two components doesn't go together you have the one is always to the pity of the other <laughs> 
One specific feature on uh, Monaco's Fortify is uh, it's a design of hydrodynamic tunnels, which this tunnels has a very large uh, horizontal area. And uh, from this point to this point, we have inclination of 19 uh, degree. So the boat is uh, fantastic on the lateral stability and the draft is only 1.1 meter and the propellers are better protected from the, from the unwanted floating objects. That means that uh, this boat is actually for um, customers which they appreciate conditions of the sea, that they can go out on the, on the sea even if it's a rough sea, on the waves yes. and a less consumption. So yes. that's, that's the advantages of the boat. Yes. Yeah. So how many cabins in this model? In this model is a three cabin, especially in this one, but actually uh, Monaco's 45 we are producing as a two uh, cabins interior and a three cabins interior upon to request because we always uh, do the boat uh, for uh, no one customer, yeah. Production line it's in that way that you always first do know the customer. Of course. And they are ordering the boat so they have their special wishes how they are implementing in the boat. But the hull is staying always. The hull is staying. Is always yeah, the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. basic yeah. shape is yeah. always the same, yeah. but interior and the many elements, for example, this customer, he liked the red elements on the white boat, and so we appreciate his, uh, his wish and uh, his desire, and we do as yeah. he wants. Okay, so shall we go let in yeah. to see inside how it looks in from inside? I would like to show you something uh, what is very special on this our model uh, Monaco's 45 ISA. It's about uh, windshield glasses. Uh, these glasses are safety laminated and what is special it's bent in the more course. So it's unique on the yacht market. Here we are in an outside cockpit, which has a spacious uh, big area, which is very important for the Mediterranean lifestyle on the boat. And we take in consideration also the big sun aiming, which is a covering all cockpit area. And with the side curtains, you can close also this big cockpit, which is actually nine square meter large. We can fit here two or three these armchairs, which are very comfortable to sit and enjoy the day, enjoy it every moment. Table, large and big, so five to six people can easily here have a meal, have a company, have a fun, cocktails whatever, really enjoyed the day on the Mediterranean sun in this area. Uh, this compact uh, bench is uh, large enough to accommodate uh, three person. And also I show you a little trick. After having a good lunch or after having a swimming, you can use this area also to have a little rest. I would like to show you something more about this compact bench. When you open it, you have a nice place to store the daily use or the things which are you using very often, like it is uh, mooring ropes, uh, electrical cable, uh, water hose and things like that. <coughs> and when you close it, you can open all bench, lift it up and below this bench you will find a spacious uh, storage which is uh, three cube meter large. Here we are on the exit to the batting platform, which is uh, spacious and uh, comfortable to have a summer swimming, uh, batting leathers. You open, they go automatically down when you want to flip it back, it goes easily. Hydraulic gangway, which is also lift for the tender, up to 3 meter tender. Here we are to enter the interior salon, salon sofa, head area and the galley. 
with the sink and the cooking top and also working surface. Here we have a storage for the kitchen needs. Three drawers and also large storage below. Fridge with a 30 liter freezer and 120 liter fridge. Salon table which can be used as a club table like just having a talk or uh, having a drink watching the TV or if you want to use it as a lunch table or dinner table or breakfast you can open it this part you can take it away and store it very easy on this curve here it is very practical for the little things you always have which does not run over the boat uh, like a mobile phone or keys or little things that you can store here and they stay safety and doesn't run around the boat. Helsman seat uh, which accommodate uh, two persons and also as a storage below. We have a two sliding hatches above so you have enough life you can have a sun and you have a you can have a fresh air while you are motoring, driving, sailing, cruising, whatever. Yeah. Here we are on a Halsman's uh, position with a Garmin plotter and showing also rudder on the same screen. It can be also separated as uh, an additional equipment. We have uh, all switches here for the windshield, uh, wipers, uh, horn, uh, pumps, uh, anchor winch uh, and all electrical equipment on the boat. Boat raster and stand raster, autopilot, smart craft instruments which are showing the old data uh, of engines, electronic engine control, VHF radio station. This is a VTA Victron uh, automatic battery charger also with the inverter up to 2 kilowatts. So if you need just to cook the espresso coffee, you don't need to start a generator. Then you can use the 220 volt from the batteries. Also chain counter for the anchor winch uh, chain expiration. So you know how much you release the uh, anchor uh, chain. There are extra fuses and switches for the all DC electrical installation of the board. So you have a double fuses for the security. Here we are coming to the lower deck, which is a three cabin layout. The small cabin for the one person, which is uh, here. The bed is comfortable, it's over 2 meter long and 1.6 meter wide. The twin bed cabin, which is here, also comfortable, long bed. 2 meter and uh, glass here you can always when you're sleeping open the eye look to the sea. Cabinet to store your summer clothes and uh, whatever you need in the in a cabinet.
This is a toilet which is accommodating single bed cabin and a twin bed cabin. And here we are going to the master, to the master stateroom. Big size king bed, two meter long, and also in this position here it's a two meter wide. Have a light, or you can blend it, or just have a mosquito mesh over the hatch. Two cabinets for the clothes, each side, one woman's, one man's. Drawer to store the blankets or towels below the bed and very large storage area below the bed. We start the engines and here we can go. Slow speed ahead. Take it easy. I will close the sliding hatch because the sun is coming too much to my head. So this is about a bit more than idle revolutions. 800, 800 something. We have a synchronization. So when I push the synchronization button, it goes together. So the engines are uh, at the same revolutions. What is interesting also about Monaco's uh, 45 Isa, it is uh, that uh, this boat is uh, cruising uh, in a three different uh, styles, like di displacement, semi-displacements, or the planing boat, which has also the same characteristic. Uh, doesn't matter what kind of uh, cruising you are choosing, it uh, shows the characteristic like it has been made especially for that cruising uh, style. So now we are at uh, displacement mode. 8.8 .8 nodes. And uh, we have a quite a good wave behind us. A little bit, little bit pulling behind. But I will show you now just going a bit faster. 1660 revolution we have a speed of uh, 11 knots and already now we have a clean wave behind us which mean we are already in a semi displacement mode it is a short behind us but it's a clean <laughs> increasing the speed To 1950 revolution, we have a 40 knots uh, speed, and uh, water behind us has very clean, uh, showing very clean uh, wave. What does it mean uh, when you are cruising with the Monacus? You can choose any speed you want. It will be depend the weather, depend your wish, depend how you do, do you feel. So you can cruise 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 15, 24, up to 24 with these engines as much as you want. <laughs>